I see my role as a documentarian of history. I see my role as somebody who pushes and challenges with questions, um, but, uh, but at the same time, I'm, I'm also here to, to, to glean as much of their story as possible. One of the vexing things about journalism is this is not math. There isn't necessarily a right or wrong answer. There's gut, there's spidey sense, and ultimately um, th there's a, an argument to be made about what is reasonable and fair. And it's kind of an opportunity to get people to uh, face the absurdity of life and the contradictions in the way we live. The weird and problematic and messy and stupid and beautiful things about this country and the world, like, that's not something you get to do anywhere else. Your work can have very real impact. Welcome to Making a Difference, How Journalism Matters. I'm Ivor Shapiro, and I'll be your host in the weeks ahead as we talk about the vision of journalism, its driving ideas, its ethical and legal difficulties, the people who practice it, and the ways it is achieved. Today at the movies, we'll look at the film The Insider. The film called All the President's Men. The paper is a classic 1994 newsroom comedy. It's a fantastic piece of cinema that does something you'll rarely see in Hollywood. Journalists have the ability to put forward positive solutions rather than just highlighting problems. I sat down with CBC journalist Duncan McHugh. Today, we're talking about why journalism matters. When you're doing streeters, uh, for instance, do they, would they take you more seriously if you're uh, male and white? Yeah. Should journalists adapt their ethical codes when in operating in indigenous communities? But certainly each time I called them and said, I want to talk to you because I'm writing a memoir, like it was this new moment of panic and then a moment of panic when I thought about my family reading it. More inclusive stories, ones that offer new perspectives for everybody, including people whose communities are reflected back to them in the work that journalists do. What would the evidence be that I would need to do to prove this? If, assuming your defense is going to be true, how would I prove this to be true? Even within the pub public domain that is the courtroom, you can be kind and sometimes discreet. The Toronto Star published a front page investigation that questioned Gardasil's safety, it's a reminder to journalists to think carefully about the words they use to ensure that they don't inadvertently blame a victim or reinforce outdated and offensive stereotypes. Give everyone uh, uh, the opportunity to say and tell you things in an environment where they will say and tell you things. It's very difficult to, to operate as a, as a reporter and operate as a storyteller sometimes. And you, yes I mean you, will be a key player in this journey through discussions and polls and your individual exploration of highways and byways off our central route. 